in the in the middle of this pandemic, NASA and SpaceX teamed up to make history. They launched a new era of space exploration, sending astronauts into space from U.S. soil for the first time since 2011, Chanel. It's an exciting time, and tomorrow they're doing it again. These four astronauts are known as Crew One, and they'll travel on SpaceX rocket to the International Space Station. Joining us from the Johnson Space Center is NASA astronaut Bob Behnken. He was on that historic flight back in May. And good morning to you, Bob. Was was a part of you wanting to stay in space and not come back for a little <laughs> bit longer? <laughs> Good morning, Dylan. Uh, thanks for having me this morning. I think uh, we got asked that question a lot as to were we ready to come back to all the challenges that were happening back on Earth. But uh, as the father of a six-year-old boy, I was uh, excited to get home and see him again. Oh, that, that's your answer right there. Mm -hmm. I, I totally understand that. So tomorrow, it's an exciting day. Um, it looks like you're actually sitting in inside the space station right now. But but how is your crew or how is Crew One's mission going to be different from the, the uh, launch that you were on? The Crew One mission that's uh, about to head up to the International Space Station on Saturday is going to be a, a fully operational mission. So they're going to stay for six months and they're going to try to execute all of the activities that are expected on board the International Space Station. Earlier this summer, what we did was a test flight for two months to both check out the vehicle and get stationed in a good configuration so that we would be ready when they actually launched. As you can see, I got my, my background of the cupola, the underside of the International oh. Space Station, kind of my favorite place, at least inside the International Space Station. And this crew, when they get there, I'm sure we'll spend some time there. That's awesome. Hey, Bob, while you were up there, you, you tied a record, the most spacewalks by a U.S. astronaut, 10 spacewalks. That's amazing. And then you take this out of this world uh, selfie, uh, literally. And I think we've got a picture of this selfie. Um, what, there, what was that experience like? It, it, for me, it was just truly an honor to, to be a part of uh, kind of maintaining the International Space Station. Uh, you mentioned that I uh, set a record with 10, but uh, what was really cool about it was my partner, Chris Cassidy, who's on that spacewalk with me, he got to 10 as well. Just a, a really rare feat, and we were able to accomplish it together. Uh, I, I can't tell you how beautiful the Earth is and uh, how precious it looks when you get a chance to look at it even just out the window, but to do it from inside of a spacesuit was was really an honor, and, and I'm just excited to have had that chance. That sounds like a dream. I heard that being a part of the SpaceX mission is now a family affair. Is that right? That is true, uh, Chanel. My wife, uh, Megan, is scheduled to launch next spring oh, wow. to the International Space Station. She'll actually ride the same Dragon capsule that I rode, and that's one of the most exciting things about the Commercial Crew Program is the reusability of these vehicles, and, and that's going to provide opportunities for more folks to fly in space. And wow. so uh, NASA does the, the first mission, and the, the vehicle then becomes available for, for more missions afterwards, which is, is really exciting. That means you're raising a baby genius, let me just say. <laughs> that's six years old is set. <laughs> well, Bob, I will say I, I was joined with my three-year-old when we watched it, when we watched you guys take off back in May, and it was just it was just a magical experience. You know, it's, it's been so long since we've gotten to see that. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, and I hope everybody's able to follow along with Crew One on uh, NASA.gov uh, this Saturday and their mission for six months on board the space station. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank I will you. certainly be watching, and you Thanks, can watch Bob. the launch tomorrow Good night. Luck. At 7.49 Eastern on NASA TV's live stream.